In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a complete simulation with the circuit and the code to work with a photoresistor. So you can read the luminosity of your environment. So here I am using Tinkercad. So you can go on tinkercad.com and you can just create an account. And then once you are in the dashboard on the left, go to circuits and then you can just create a new circuit and here is actually the circuits I'm going to start from. So I have my Arduino Uno board. You can just search for Arduino Uno here. I have my uh, breadboard. You can also search for breadboard. And I have connected the 5 volt okay, to the plus line and the ground to the minus line. So I have already 5 volt and ground correctly set on my breadboard. Now I'm going to search on the right here for the photo resistor. I take the photo resistor here and I'm going to plug it here. So you have two legs. I'm going to plug each leg, this is important, each leg to a different line of the breadboard, okay? Make sure you don't connect them together. Then what I'm going to do, one of the legs, doesn't matter which one, I'm going to plug it to the 5 volt line, okay? And put the color in uh, red, okay? So this line is now connected here to 5 volts. Okay, so one leg connected to 5 volts. The other leg, I'm going to add two connections. First, I'm going to add a resistor. So on the right, you can type resistor and just pick a resistor here. And I'm going to choose the value 10 kilo ohm. So kilo ohm here with K and then 10. To plug this resistor in the circuit, I'm going to make it rotate with that button here. Rotate, so one, two, three, uh, okay. And then I'm going to plug it right uh, there, for example. So one of the legs of the resistor is connected to the other leg of the photoresistor. And then the other leg of the resistor here connected to a new line, which I'm going to connect to the ground with a black wire. And the last thing I'm going to do now is to actually connect, so create a wire here on the same line as one leg of the photoresistor and one leg of the resistor. So let's take this here. I'm going to create a connection to pin number, let's say, A0. So this is an analog pin, because we will need an analog pin to be able to read the value from the photoresistor. All right, and now the circuit is complete. I'm going now to toggle the code interface. Okay, maybe you will have uh, blocks. So if you have blocks, you just go to text, you click on continue and you get to that, which is basically the blink LED example, okay? So what you can do is remove anything in the setup and remove everything also in the loop, just to keep void setup and void loop. And the first thing I'm going to do is to create a define here, define for the pin here, the pin A0. So I'm going to name it photoresistor pin A0. So then I can use that anywhere in the code. Now in the void setup, I don't need to do anything to initialize the pin. It's already an analog input by default. So what I can do now is do int luminosity is equal to analog read with the photoresistor pin right there. So the photoresistor, what it will do basically, it will modify the voltage here that you read on the A0 pin depending on the luminosity, okay? And then, so you have a voltage between zero and five volt that goes here. And then with the analog read function, this function is going to translate this voltage from zero to five volt into a round number value between 0 and 1023, which you are going to get into this integer variable. So the higher the number, the higher the luminosity, and the lower the number, the lower the luminosity. What I'm going to do here, because it's nice, we get the luminosity, but what can we do with it? Well, we can print it, for example. So let's say begin to initialize serial communication and here let's do serial.println with luminosity. 
just the luminosity, no text with it. And let's add a small delay of 100 milliseconds so we don't print too fast. So now that you have the circuit and the code, you can just start the simulation here. Okay, and let's open the serial monitor. You can see we have the value 54. And actually, the great thing about Tinkercad is you can interact with the circuit. So you can see here, I can increase. So this is like I increase the luminosity of the environment, okay? And you can see I increase or I decrease and the value will be changed here. The value that we read will be changed. So great, now you can connect the photoresistor to your circuit. Okay, you know how to write the code to read the data and how to analyze it and how to interact here when you run the simulation, how to interact with the photoresistor sensor to increase or decrease the kind of the fake luminosity for your environment. And now what you can do with it? Well, you can do many things. For example, you could add another LED and decide to power on this LED if the luminosity that you read is below a certain threshold. So for example, you set the threshold to 300 and if the luminosity you read is below 300, you power on the LED. If it's more than 300, you power off the LED. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Arduino step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.